Hey souls, divine soul here. You're welcome to the channel. If this is your first time stopping by, please do well to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel. So I have a message here for the collectives, but please only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. But um, I'm picking up on the energy of someone that reincarnated because um, they were selected to serve a specific purpose. Okay, it's like someone that. The only time that you are present, when I mean present, I mean like in the human flesh, human body, the only time that you are present is when you have a specific mission to, you know, fulfill. When it's like, um, if there is something that is meant to happen, okay, in the world, in a specific time, specific season, you are being selected to be present okay and um I'm, I'm speaking to someone that in this lifetime right you had to reincarnate because you have a specific um purpose to serve here okay you are on a specific mission okay which clearly means that the assignment that you've been given is different from every other person's assignment right so you are here on a specific mission and this is the time that you are very much needed the number 27 could be significant number nine could be significant but i'm getting that um you only reincarnate in specific lifetime okay so whenever your presence and your service is needed in the world that's when you are being called to step forward okay it's like whenever the world needs somebody like you let me use that term the divine sends you because they know that okay in this lifetime the world will need somebody like you so you are being sent because you have a specific purpose to fulfill that's who i'm speaking to you are someone that is tough in the spirit realm okay and i'm getting that this is because you've mastered attacks okay you've it's like i'm speaking to someone that goes to war in the spirit realm it's like you've mastered the spirit realm you've mastered the attacks you are more okay i'm getting that you are more active in the spirit realm okay and it's like you fight lots of battles in the spirit realm and this is something that you do like your every lifetimes that's what i'm getting here so another thing i'm getting here is that in every lifetime you always um encounter huge tests okay and um this is because um you've already mastered both realms you've mastered both the spirit realm and the physical realm right you've mastered both realms and that's why um you had to be given like the toughest test to go through so it feels like someone that feels like they are dealing with so much it feels like someone that feels like um the spiritual attack is too much on them the the spiritual warfare is too much on them this is because um you are a pro in the spirit realm um also for someone specific you could be celibate at the moment but i do see here that you are currently being tested okay this is a spiritual test this is a spiritual test and the sole purpose of this test is to toughen you spiritually and like i said you are someone that you've already mastered the spirit realm like every lifetime that you come every time that you come here you've been here for a long time okay uh, i'm here with your number 22 so you, uh, okay i'm getting 18 you could have been here for like 22 lifetimes um 18 lifetimes eight lifetimes okay you've been here multiple times and i feel like it's, this is someone that um is like okay what is new because you've you've been there you've seen that you've done that it's like someone that has experienced so much you've okay so what i'm getting here is like somebody that in the physical realm right you could be telling yourself like oh i'm tired i want to leave i want to go back home you know i want to go home that's how you feel in the physical realm but it's like you're not scared of death this is something that you've been doing over and over again and it's it's amazing because for every lifetime that you come you don't come because you just want to come here you come because you have a specific mission to fulfill 
and you are here again in this lifetime okay because you also i'm getting number 11 okay that could be a life path number so i'm getting number 11 life path number 22 life path number but it's like every time that you come into this lifetime you have a specific role to play another thing i received here is that you are part of the great awakening okay you are you are meant to be part of the new earth you are meant to be amongst those that will be creating the new earth okay and this is the reason why you reincarnated in this lifetime you are here to cause a shift okay you are here okay i just heard you are here to cause a memorial shift that's what i heard you are here to cause a memorial shift but to whoever i'm speaking to um you are not ordinary you are not um someone that um how do i put this it's like you know how people just pass through life without really experiencing life you are not that kind of person like you are here to be seen you are here to be felt you are here to be experienced that's the energy of what i'm talking to today you had to come into this lifetime to be part of that because you are also a builder you are here to build um the new earth okay i'm getting that you have a spiritual crown you have a spiritual crown that many people want okay people want the crown that you have and it's not just the crown it's the position okay and i just heard heavy is the head that wears the crown people want the crown but they, nobody's willing to walk towards you know um getting the crown everybody wants to be crowned a king a queen but nobody wants to put in the work nobody wants to be the sacrificial lamb but i'm speaking to someone that in the spirit realm and i'm getting that in every lifetime that you've reincarnated you always have a crown okay you have you've already been crowned in the spirit realm and this is a case whereby because of your position in the spirit realm there are people that are that you know they are fighting to get your crown to take your crown from you so it's like someone that holds the same position in every lifetime someone that holds the same title in every lifetime the number 10 could be significant 10 10 could be significant here but i'm hearing that you are here to recreate history you are here to recreate history so the divine is saying it is time to awaken to the greatness in you okay you have something in you that needs to pop out okay you have something in you that needs to be seen that needs to be recognized by the world okay I'm just picking up on the reincarnation of ancestors. That's what I'm picking up on. I'm telling you, it's heavy. I'm picking up on the reincarnation of ancestors. And I'm getting here that because of this great awakening that is happening right now, lots of ancestors are waking up. So, but to who I'm speaking to, you were well known in ancient time. Like I said, you're someone that is well known. People know you, people regard you, people people it's like you are well known. That's what I, that's what I'm getting. You are well known and your name your name is currently in history book you are someone that holds a very powerful position in the spirit realm and it's like you handle that position so well to the point whereby it has not been given to anybody else it has to be you so imagine you coming into every lifetime with the same position you're still holding the same crown you are the real mvp i'm telling you like people tend to lose their crown on their path people tend to lose their crown but for you to whoever i'm speaking to that crown is something that can never be taken away from you that position can never be taken away from you and i feel like with this awakening happening right you are awakening to a version of yourself that you never knew existed and this is because when you came into this lifetime you had to be programmed and for you to go back to default setting to who you truly are you have to reprogram your mind and that's what it is right now like i said you could be going through a test right now and this is for the purpose of reprogramming all right so um also for someone specific um if you feel drawn to a particular person from past life and you feel this heightened energy pull towards that person there is a possibility that you've had a past life being that person or this is a case whereby you are like the descendant of that person or 
this is a case whereby this person this person is trying to awaken through you this person is trying to have you know come back into this lifetime using your body as a means to come back into this lifetime that's what i'm picking up on here and another thing i'm getting here is that you are currently in the cave okay you are currently in the cave and you have to be hidden so you won't be recognizable whoever i'm speaking to you are very much needed in this lifetime and that's the reason why you were um sent back here because you are very much needed in this lifetime in this season i'm also getting that you are in disguise and your energy is clogged and that is like a form of protection here it's like people can't tell who you are because of your clogged energy there is a covering on you okay there is like what i'm picking up on here is like you have okay um it's like a child that is sitting in the middle of you know a, a circle and this child is being surrounded by spirit guides you know ancestors a spirit animal and because of that energy because you have so much um energies around you protecting you it makes it difficult for people to see you okay not in a negative way okay but it's like people can't tell who you truly are because of your energy it's clogged it's covered it's protected so uh i'm hearing that you are here to relieve memories it's like you are someone you are the descendant of someone that is really 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 important in ancient times and i'm getting that you are here to create a new generation i'm speaking to a star seed here the number four could be significant you could be a writer or aspiring to be a writer um the number 32 number five could be significant i'm speaking to a communicator here okay the number five you're here to bring change in the world you're here to speak this could be through writing this could be through public speaking but you're here to communicate something with the world there's something that you know that you're here to communicate with the world the number nine could be significant here okay i'm speaking to um, um a humanitarian i'm speaking to a philanthropist you are here to share a part of yourself with the world you're here to share your wisdom with the world you're here to share your truth with the world you're here to share your gift with the world you're here to share your energy with the world you're here to share a part of yourself with the world the number one could be significant here but to whoever i am speaking to you are here to be your authentic self okay you are not here to be like any other person you're here to be yourself so if you're being tested right now i do see you transmuting from that phase to resurrecting to your true energy to your true self i'm speaking to a shaman here i'm speaking to a spiritual guide here but to whoever you are there is a need for you to connect more with nature okay connect to nature more okay uh, i'm getting that you have nature spirit which means that um, you tend to awaken rapidly when you connect to nature so spend more time in nature all right I'm speaking to a generational cause breaker here. You were sent to break the causes of your bloodline. And this is the reason why it feels like the burden is much on you. Okay. So right now I'm getting that you are transmuting. Okay. You are in your transmuting stage. You are moving from dark to light. Okay. Um, and another thing I'm getting here is that you are on a breaking spree. That was what I heard. You are on a breaking spree. And this feels like someone that has successfully broken few curses but they still have like they are still breaking more okay you could have broken a set a, a particular um cause in your family and it's like after you've broken one cause it still feels like you you are on another tournament and then you break another cause and then you break another cause and then you break it that's what i'm getting here it's like you are on a breaking spree you are breaking generational curses that's why it feels like um the burden is too much on you because this is something that you've been doing in every lifetime you are a soul that has been here every time you've reincarnated here number 22 is coming through heavily okay so this could be like your 22nd time in this lifetime um okay i'm getting something and that's weird i don't think i've ever heard something like this before but i'm getting that your life life path number represents the number of times you've been here but that's weird i don't know if that's what it is 
whoever you are, you are the real MVP. And let me tell you what I'm getting here. I'm hearing that you are not just breaking the generational curses of your family, but you are also breaking generational curses for others. So that's why you had to come back into this lifetime because there are souls, there are people that you need to help. Okay, there are people that are meant to, you know, to be healed through you. And I'm getting that every time that you break a curse, you ascend. Every time you break a curse, you ascend. The divine is saying, keep going, child. Keep going. Keep breaking those curses. Keep breaking those curses. You are ascending. And I've said this before. Healing is, is not the destination. It's the process. So you have to keep going. You have to keep healing. You have to keep doing the work. It never ends. So right now, I know that the path might seem difficult, but I'm telling you, keep going and always stay grateful. Gratitude should be your number one tool. In good times, in bad times, be grateful. Also, for someone specific here, I'm getting that you are awakening to your voice. Okay, more like you are awakening to the best way to use your voice and also the best way to share your gift. So don't get too comfortable where you are right now, okay? Because you will be moved to your next season. I'm getting that you will soon be moved from the cave to the world, okay? Because I said, like, right now you are in the cave, but you will soon be moved from the cave to the world. It's like your ancestors are teaching you, are guiding you, are leading you right now in the cage. They are, you know, instilling something in you that is ready to be seen by the world. So once you uh, once you are ready enough, that's when they move you from the cave to the world. Keep focusing on cleansing your energy, healing your inner child trauma, practicing healthy habits, breaking generational curses because you are about to be moved. All right. Um, I'm speaking to a draconian star seed and a Syrian star seed. You can read more about that, okay, for clarity. But you have a mission to raise the vibration. You have a mission to bring peace and harmony to the world. But first, you have to find that in yourself. You have to first raise your own vibration. You have to first be at peace with yourself before you, before you can give that part of yourself to the world. Be the change you want to see. You are meant to be a public figure, whoever I'm speaking to. You are meant to be a public figure. You're meant to be like the frontliner um, that people are meant to follow through, right? Um, I'm getting that you are a portal of awakening. So through you, other people are meant to awaken. Through you, souls are meant to awaken. Through you, your, your family, your generations are meant to awaken. So because you are a portal of awakening, that's the reason why the divine is working with you because you are meant to be the one to awaken others, okay? You have been chosen to be the one to, to water others. So um, that's why you have the divine and your ancestors working with you at the moment. Um, also, I'm speaking to a blue ray. You could feel sensitive at the moment, but I do see here that you are ascending, okay? Um... I'm getting that you have been granted the free will to walk this path. And I just heard you have been anointed to carry the burden. Even when the load feels like it's too heavy for you, it's too much for you, I'm telling you, you have the anointing. You've already been anointed to carry out this mission. So which means that the good days, the bad days, whatever it is that you go through, the anointing will speak for you. The anointing will lead you through. All right. I'm getting here that you are someone that is highly valued in the spirit realm. And part of your mission is to partner with the world, to bring love to the world. So make sure that you are paying attention to this phase of your life. Use your discernment. Connect the dots. Okay. Start putting two and two together. Start laying more emphasis on your day-to-day -day life. All right. Because um, this is a pivotal moment of your life before you shift this timeline all right so you are gaining wisdom you are gaining knowledge um that will help you transcend so um i'm getting that your ability to discern will enable you move to your next phase but i do see here that you are about to discover the hidden truth here about yourself so um keep going keep going
you are doing the best that you can and that's what is important all right so that's the message i'm being guided to share with you and i hope that this message gives you peace and clarity till next time divine blessings